car got finished about 72 hours ago now. <laughs> um, typical last minute fashion for me, but uh, this was uh, the banana. You guys have seen it in the past. It's my previous practice car that was uh, pretty battered and bruised. So she got a refresh top to bottom, fresh engine package. It's an LS. It has Lynx LS engine harness on here with a storm and a couple Link PDMs in this car. Everything's integrated just like we do on the FD car, just toned down a little bit for this thing. It makes a whopping 360 wheel. So it's a lot of fun. I can drive it 11 out of 10. Uh, driving a slow car fast is always always more fun than the ladder, I feel like. So the install process for the Link LS engine harness is, is pretty rad because it's, uh, it's very modular. You can do Gen 3, Gen 4. Uh, the instructions break everything down, but they have some jumper harnesses to connect to various sensor types that you have. If you have knock sensors on the side of the block or in the valley, if you have cam sensor on the front or on the back, um, basically they have the harnesses to adapt that to make it all work, uh, which is nice because it covers a massive range of, uh, of engine years. So they got all that taken care of, the IAC, the throttle position sensor, you can do drive by wire with them if you want, um, multiple extra sensor outputs, pressure outputs, temp outputs. Uh, they use a lot of the OE, uh, GM style connectors. So for your coil pack harnesses, you got this plug here, integrates to your factory OEM coil pack harnesses um, that we can decide which, uh, which coil packs you use. You have all your, all your leads like intake air temp lead here. This is your little adapter harness for the idle motor, depending on which type of idle motor you have or if you have drive by wire. Uh, they have uh, transmission plug on there, TPS. I do love the simplicity aspect of these cars. I like making them very easy to use and very simple. Uh, Link carries these combo sensors from, uh, from Bosch. They're a temperature and pressure sensor combined. With this Link harness, there was a extra temp output back here next to the oil temp sensor output. And I unpinned those and made a small jumper to combine them at the combined pressure temp sensor in the valley. So I have oil pressure and oil temp up at the top of the motor on the back. So I don't have to run a sensor out on the out on the oil cooler or out in a line or something. Uh, so that cool little integration is, is something that's super rad. Inside this car, we obviously are using the Link PDMs. We have, uh, we have Razor's front and rear in this car, basically two of them in tandem to control everything we have currently and have room for expansion in the future. I do want to put Nitrous on this car uh, a little later on. So I wanted to make sure I had all that terminated and was able to do all the nitrous control stuff, bottle heater. And if I ever added a fuel cell, I have enough outputs to like add a pump, add two pumps, whatever I got to do in the back. So um, yeah, kind of just built it for the future and kept the parts in there to make sure I was covered in the long run for whatever upgrades I wanted to make. Um, but yeah, uh, Link keypad, Link PDMs, uh, got our homies Panic's old dash display in there, which is super rad, GPS speed, all that kind of stuff. So everything's super sick, super modular. Um, pretty pumped on it, went together effortlessly, fired right up, good to go.